Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and you are watching the AG Office Project. The series where I document my journey from start to finish, renovating and decorating Team AG's new headquarters. Woohoo! <laughs> I need to take a step back -aroni. It's actually 95% chaos. <laughs> Just being real over here. Love it. <gasps> okay, let's get started. Today is the third episode of our office studio space makeover. I am so, so excited. I say that every video, but truly, this is really, really exciting. If you hear noise in the background, it's just because there's a bunch of people working in the building. Can't really avoid it. We're in the middle of a reno, so bear with us. So if you haven't seen the first two episodes of this office transformation, stop what you're doing. Go watch those now. There's a whole playlist dedicated to this series. So far, you guys have seen us demoing the entire office space. It was an epic transformation. You don't want to miss that. And you also saw the kitchen transformation, which is funny because right now they're finishing the kitchen, but you guys have already seen it in all its beautiful glory, which is kind of hilarious. So today we're focusing on the office space. And this is really like the first day where we're actually putting furniture in, styling this little corner. So this is what the office space is looking like now. A little bit chaotic. We moved all of the stuff from my apartment in my overflowing loft area and my shed. There was like stuff everywhere. We moved it all to the office space. I've sorted it out a little bit. And you'll notice that two beautiful pendant lights got hung in the office area. So these are centered right above where our desks are gonna go. Our desks are quite literally arriving like any minute now. I ordered really large desks. I love having like a large workspace to work at. And we have four desks. The reason for that is because hopefully my team is gonna be growing and expanding. These desks are from Branch Furniture, which is an awesome furniture company. If you guys are looking for desks or desk chairs or like credenzas, go check them out. They'll be linked down below. I've used them and make my space work a bunch of times as well, which is really awesome. What I love about these is that they have a little cut out in the desk and power built into the desk. So we don't have to have a million cords running everywhere. We can just plug in our computers, our phone chargers, right to the power which is in the desk, which is awesome. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. Like in a good way, this is very real. I'm like, cool, I have an office. <laughs> to think that Alana and I have been working at my tiny dining room table is so funny. James's desk arrived too. <laughs> and his ergonomic chair. We get stylish chairs. James just gets like an ergonomic chair because he's gonna be sitting in it all the time. Don't worry guys, there will be a video dedicated to decorating James's entire editor suite coming soon. But now, I guess it's time to build our desk chairs. As you can see, there's one on, there's one on the desk. <laughs> We're gonna build them. Let's do it. Desk chairs took me a long time to get right to be quite honest. And that's because I wanted something that was comfortable because we are gonna be sitting in these. <laughs> but I also wanted them to be stylish because the reality is we work in home decor and we're shooting in here, we're taking photos. And I wanted to add some color but I knew that ultimately these chairs had to be really comfortable. So I landed within like a happy medium. I found two ergonomic leather desk chairs. I've actually sat in both of these. I got these for Carla's studio apartment makeover. We used one of these in her office area. They're really comfortable. And then I got two velvet ones in this beautiful pink color. Like absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna build this chair. Alana's working on some of the other ones. Desk chairs are actually really easy to build. I've built a fair share in my day on Make My Space Work. <laughs> there's no wheel on this chair. What? Yeah, there's one missing. Okay. Wait, wait. I put all of them though. Where did it go? I don't know. <laughs> this is really scary. <laughs> They're called ice cream color, which I thought was so funny. Because there's so much white going on in this space, I wanted to warm it up a little bit, which is why I went for this color and really glad I did. Found the missing wheel. Almost like caused me to fall to my death.
Oh yeah. I love the idea of mixing and matching colors and just making our desk space feel that much more brighter and like happier. Love it. These are really comfortable. This one's gonna like scar me forever because I almost fell forward. Actually, I think I like the velvet ones better, but still very comfy. So I'm thinking the other off-white one will go diagonal. So it'll be like off-white, pink. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> it's like Alana just walks in every morning and I'm like, woo <laughs> Okay, wow, no, I'm dizzy. I love having a big desk. I almost wonder if we should switch so you see the pink. I like that better because now when you walk in, you see the pink, which is nice, because we love pink here at Team AG. Yeah. It's time to hang the television above the desks. Why am I putting a TV up, you might ask. So we're not gonna be sitting here watching TV all day. We have work to do. <laughs> okay. But Alana and I right now love watching cuts of videos on my TV in my living room. And I thought it'd be really nice just to have like a space where we can all watch the videos on a really big screen. My goal for 2021 is to make these videos bigger and better. And part of that is collaborating, making notes together and watching them on a big screen. There's Chico. Hi Chico. You're awesome Chico. Cheeks. Like I'm like, hey, could you build this? And he's like, sure. And then brings in like the whole hardware store. I'm like, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Also, let's just clear the air about something super controversial in my comments. Chico, people are wondering why you don't have a desk here at Team AG. Like, yeah. people are mad about it. Wait, yeah. I have a workshop. We hire him like project to project basis. He's not like an fit. Well, he's an official Team AG member in my heart, but he's not like with us all the time. He comes on shoot days. He's not like sitting typing emails. Chico's like always on the move. We're always like, Chico, where are you? He is here today and he's gonna help us hang the TV. So let's do it. Like it should be under the lights. Almost where that line is, yeah. But like a bit higher than that, like there, yeah. Let me just want to go like, yeah. That's not the sound of like the sound of this. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> so that's not a good sound. Yeah. Oh, really? Damn it. Yeah, always. No, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> no, Chico, it's, it's clearly me. Yes! Uh, oh, one more. <laughs> we need one more screw. You guys. Chico is a genius. We're actually going to, we're actually gonna drill a hole in the wall. And we're gonna feed the cord through the wall. So you actually won't even see the power. Oh, wow, we love. I always say everyone needs a Chico in their lives. This is why. I always say that in my videos. I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you did, you would know that. Because they are still renovating this unit next door, the whole wall was exposed. So now our cord is literally fed behind the wall, comes out at the bottom, and that's where it's gonna attach to the TV box. Obviously, because they're still renovating, they are going to put drywall up on their side. So like, there's not gonna be a cord hanging out in their unit or anything. It's literally like behind our wall, which is really, really cool. Okay, Chico, ready? The beauty of this TV is that you can change the frame of it to like really make it like an art piece. This is not sponsored. I really, really wish it was. You buy these frame pieces separately and then they just attach onto your TV. They're like magnets. So you can get different colors. You can get white, metal, like a copper. There's all different kinds. But I went for the birch just because I felt like that went with the vibe of the space. Oh yeah.
Hey guys, a quick break in the video to talk about this week's sponsor. I'm actually coming to you from the future. So the office is all done. A Little bit of a sneak peek around me, but I wanted to take a minute to talk about this week's sponsor, Function of Beauty. I'm always so excited to work with them because I've been using Function of Beauty for over a year now and it truly is the only hair care that I love and trust. So if you don't know, Function of Beauty is a completely customizable hair care brand. They've also expanded to body and face, but today I'm gonna to be talking about their hair care. So there are up to 18 hair goals to choose from and for every bottle you customize and pick different hair goals. So for me this month, it was lengthen, anti-frizz. I love all the fun colors you can choose, the name on the bottle, you can get your name printed, all the fun stickers that come with the package as well. I've also tried their new scent called Isn't She Bubbly? It's a citrus and champagne scent, and I wouldn't have normally gone for this scent. Usually I love the peppermint or the eucalyptus scent, but I'm so glad I did because this smells like winter. It smells like winter, and Christmas in a bottle. Another thing I love about this shampoo and conditioner is that it never uses parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins. It's also 100% vegan and cruelty free. If you guys want to try out some Function of Beauty for yourselves, you can use my link down below in the description box for 20% off. Okay, let's get back to the video. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do to complete the office space is a giant floor to ceiling wall calendar. I really wanted a place where my whole team could just like see what videos we have coming down the pipeline. We could all get organized. And I thought, what better way than like a gigantic calendar? It's ultimately gonna hang on this wall, but this wall is also gonna be used as a backdrop for some of our shoots. So we wanted to be able to like take it off the wall and put it back on. So to make this, we're using two frames you can get at the hardware store. I made those. You made the frames? Yeah. Like, Chico actually made the frame for this. And now I'm just going to staple a thin sheet of plywood to each side of the frame. And then we're gonna paint it all out to be pink, obviously. Wow, that's a giant floor to ceiling calendar. So now that we've got the frame built, it's time to paint it all pink. This is the same pink color as we painted the kitchen, so it's gonna be a nice like tie-in. Okay, I'm gonna pour the paint. I love this color so much. It's like a pink, but it's like a neutral pink. You get a roller. You get a roller. Get get and then we're just gonna roll the paint on. For the squares, we got a massive sheet of dry erase board. Fun fact, you can get this in sheets. Chico's cutting them into one foot by one foot squares. And then we're gonna stick these onto the board once it's dry. And this is gonna be our like day of the week that we can write on. Also, I just learned that you can actually buy dry erase paint. So you don't actually have to buy the sheets of it and stick it on. You can just paint the squares right on your board. And of course there's chalkboard paint too, but I thought dry erase would be easier to use. Okay, so that's a wrap on day one here. What a great day. Seeing the desks and the chairs and the TV in here makes this feel so real. I cannot wait to work at these desks. So the next time you guys see us, which for you will be like in 30 seconds, for us it'll be a new day, we will be finishing the DIY calendar. We have to let it dry overnight before we stick the dry erase peel and stick panels on. And we'll be propping the desks with some fun stationery. But for now, that's it for me. See you guys tomorrow. I'm just gonna roll away, okay? Bye. So yesterday we did some basic styling on the desks. These beautiful gold lights, some pens and pencils, some stationery, and Danny Berger made me this beautiful magazine rack back in the summer. So many of you guys were like, where is it? Where did it go? And I have been saving it for this office all along, but I wanted it to be a surprise. So it's here now. 
I'm putting it beside my desk and I'm just going to prop it with magazines that I've collected over the years. I'm someone who refers to lots of magazines and books when I'm coming up with new ideas. I'm like an avid domino reader. So I'm gonna put them all on display and then they're gonna be an easy reach for me when I'm working at my desk. The calendar has finally dried, so we're going to start that DIY, which is really fun. So the first thing we're gonna do is make marks using a really big level of where each peel and stick dry erase square needs to go. Also, we have stencils for the days of the week at the top. So I'm basically just gonna make lines as a template for us to put the stencil and to put the peel and stick squares down. Let's do it. Basically, we just made a giant grid. We did some mathematics, so fun. Alana did most of the math. We're just trying to get the placement of the squares right before we stick them on. So now Alana is gonna hold the level and then I'm going to stick them on the top of the level so we make sure that they're all, that they're all even on the bottom. First row, done. So it's time to do the stencil, but I wanted to show you guys this really fun step stool that arrived. Like who knew that you could buy a beautiful mint green step stool? So pretty. So I'm just going in with some black acrylic paint and paint the days of the week on. The paint kind of bled through the stencil. So I'm just going in with an oil-based Sharpie and just like cleaning up all of the lines. WTF. Going in with that Sharpie at the end was a good idea. It looks so clean. I can't wait to actually use this calendar. Hey guys, it's a brand new day. Today is the day we finish off the office makeover. I'm so excited. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually change the art on the Samsung frame TV because I'm most excited for that. Fun fact, you guys can actually go and buy art on Etsy that's specifically made to fit a Samsung frame TV. So that's what I've done. It looks so good. It looks so good. We have already been watching cuts on the TV and it's so fun. Big ticket item, but worth it. Okay, so now it's just time to finish off styling the tops of our desks and then we'll take a look at the afters. You guys, look at these pencils. They're so fun. I'm adding them to the pencil holder and they give me motivation. You are just so fun. You're like really pretty. You're fresher than lemonade. You're a total champ. All hard eyes on you, girl. Yeah. Okay, let's put these in. Hey guys, before we get into the afters, I wanted to mention a few things. You guys are getting a sneak peek at the shelves on the back wall because it was really unavoidable to shoot the desks without showing the shelves and I think they look really nice together. So we wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that shortly in the next few weeks, we are getting all of the windows in the studio replaced. So you're gonna see a boarded up window. Rest assured, because I know so many of you are going to be wondering, the windows are getting replaced to be brand new. They're gonna be beautiful and I hope that you guys can still appreciate all the beauty that is this office. Okay, let's take a look at what this space looked like before. Non-existent, a construction zone. Are you guys ready?
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you loved seeing our new office space come together. I just wanna work here every day, which is exactly what I plan to do. <laughs> Thank you so much to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure you guys use my code and my link, which are both in the description box for 20% off your first order. Next week, we are tackling the entryway, so that makeover is coming at you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any more episodes in this series. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.